Hello guys, my name is Chatelier and welcome back for yet another episode of Let's Play House of Iron 3 Black Guys Mod as Finland. And in previous episode we got invitation to join the Allies. You know what? I'm gonna accept that. It might mean that the Germans are now fighting everyone again. Or it might not mean that. I'll have to see. Let the time tick a little bit at least. I mean, if nothing else. Uh, it seems that they are not... Uh... Ooh. Liberate stuff. Uh... <clears throat> no, I don't want to liberate them. They're mine. Anyway. Oh, wait. There's probably some... Uh, hold on. Let's have a look at the victory conditions. Norway is an allied member. And uh, Japan is not access or coming to and Pacific Island hopping. Okay, but yeah, we are basically victorious. Yeah, fine enough. But yeah, they still have... They actually don't have peace with people. We cannot call them into the war. That's actually not a bad thing. This guy should be running out of supplies soon enough. Ooh! So we get bonuses from uh, early war historical allies, lesser war risk, uh, more manpower. I see, and all the resources, leadership, territory, pride, espionage, I see efficiency for production, research, efficiency, and mid to late war historical allies, uh, pretty much the same thing. Okay, that's interesting. Also, we can finally see what's the situation in the east. Uh, I'd say it's pretty chaotic. I mean, the Japanese have full army corps in one province for the most part. Whereas the Allies have parts of army corps here and there. Ah, they've been using partisans to liberate some of the areas, I think. Anyway, let's get back to the war. Okay, they are retreating from there, mm, fair enough, and there's quite a few divisions coming this way, up down south, once we get them, we can... Okay, so we won this fight here, we can probably move you down south. Alright, we can move through Switzerland now. Also, how is this fight going? Not very well. Okay, I'm gonna move you down south to help with the attack. Was there anyone else? Well, you are almost full strength, so I'm gonna send you down there. And... You... Go down there as well. You know what? Let's try to attack Venice. Well, it's a victory. That's good to know. Which means that Italy will be mine soon enough. Ah, the Allies are finally moving their troops away because I'm allied to them. Also, I'm gonna move the uh, general down south. Even though it's not really needed there anymore. Well, maybe taking out the Vienna, but other than that. Let's have a look. Do you have zero organization as well? You do. Well then. Things are getting easier and easier. We have a 
have some extra in production. Also, how much do we get? 50 manpower per month. Okay, that's nice. We might actually start gaining some manpower once again. Because we're not losing tons of manpower in battles. Also... What? I thought this is... Yeah, it probably hasn't updated yet. Okay, so once we wait a day, it should be annexed by us. Or they might go into exile, that is possibility. Especially fighting against a faction. Okay, so we did not manage to annex them. I mean, they are puppets, so we might have to... Well, I don't know. Oh well. It's a bit weird. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna give Netherlands some of the extra. I see. Although, we might have to fight the allies at some point. Although, you know. If we take out Soviet Union it's gonna take a long, long time. They are strong. Whereas we are not all that strong. Right, but I think that this fight should be going down pretty swiftly. It's getting pretty hot in my room. Oh, Lapland War, once again. I mean, because the road outside, I have to keep my window closed and door closed for any noise from my roommates. So, it is currently 25 degrees Celsius inside, so it's getting pretty sweaty. Light bomber prototype advanced, okay. Okay, just some flavor things. Yeah, we got that, and means that Germany should be a lot closer to surrendering. Oh, Italy has stuff in here as well. Okay. That's a bit unexpected. Oh, and Germany has uh, Albania. Of course, uh, I don't know if they have any navies. We might be able to bring in our transports to here and start making landings down here. That shouldn't be too hard. Ooh, there's quite a lot of divisions going back and forth. They seem to be Belgian, Belgian divisions, although they belong to other people. A tougher Japan. Well, okay, Japan can be tough. I'm, I don't care. Ah, oh, we got the division finally. Uh, I'm gonna put you on the Soviet border, I think. Yeah. Just go there. Also, we got a lot of uh, extra production now. And we probably got quite a few factories, but... Oh, okay, so that's actually coming along a bit faster, as well as that one. And that one. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we've got a lot of experience for our troops, which gives us, if we have a look, uh, armor practical is now 1.6 and mobile unit practical 4.4. So it's been increasing quite a bit. Also, a lot of aircraft practical is 4.2. And land combat experience is pretty high. 
Anyway, uh, all right, we get the bonuses from other guys. That's what's happening. Also, most of industry. I have two of them. Interesting. This helium, heavy water, rubber, aluminium. Okay, we're gonna. All right, we need to build something. Also, we have pretty high deficit deficit of um, manpower. So I'm gonna improve the artilleries on the units for the most part. All right, this unit has no headquarters, so we need to send one of these veteran headquarters back there. Right, should go pretty fast. Now these guys have medium artilleries. You guys don't have artillery at all. You guys have regular artillery. Yeah, upgrading the artillery might be a good idea now. I mean, of course, it might make units a bit slower, but not too much, actually. And it's gonna give them some more firepower, and especially the different uh, bonuses from terrain will be higher in medium artillery units. I'm gonna move you down south a little bit, as well as you guys. You, I can move there. And you. Also, how is that? They are probably pretty weak, actually. No, they are not. Although they sh shouldn't be having much in terms of supplies. I'll move you down there. You can go through there, I guess. What about this place? Do they have... No, they are still pretty weak. Ah, oh, this uh, paratroop army corps. Oh, actually, I think it's army. Okay. What about these units? They might be a bit weak. Okay, chaplains, modern times. Uh, oh, we still have a lot in terms of production extra. Ooh. You know what? We can probably start uh, building factories and such. Okay, so we have a rocket test site in there. Uh, it's in this province. We cannot actually upgrade there. But this place produces quite a bit of uh, energy. Also quite a bit of rare material. So let's uh, build a few levels of rare extraction down there. And uh, it was here, we can build a few in here. Let's uh, have a look at the resources map mode. We can probably build some industry in here and maybe here. I mean, this is an uh, area that is decently safe. From enemy bomb en enemy bombers, is this in Finland? I mean, the enemy enemy, as in Soviets, do have some airfields down here, which means that we will have to. Uh, hold on, where's our? Because I can't see it. Okay, this might be a bit hard. I can see the... There we go. That was weird. So we have some fighters here. I don't think the enemy... Is, oh, Germany is using much of their air forces anymore. So we don't need to worry about too much. In regards to that. 
So we got some of our units down here now. We could probably take out that unit once again. And advance in there. We are going there. Uh, let's give you some support attack from this flank. Also, do these guys have medium artillery? Not yet. We could start uh, upgrading these guys as well. I mean, the front is beginning to be narrow enough for that. Some units to be in reserves for the most part. I'm gonna wait for a bit before acting on Vienna. Although I don't know how much do they have resources around here. They might be out of supplies. Ooh. Veteran headquarters. That's nice. I'm gonna move you down there and yeah, it's gonna be one and a half months approximately until we get the Ski Division. And we are finally having something in production. At least for a while. Yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, friendly troops going through Germany now. Thanks to me joining the Allies. How much are we short in... We are still short around 15 cents of manpower. That is quite a lot. Of course, we are getting attrition because we are in... Well, actually, no. We are not getting that much attrition. A little bit still, but not much. By the ground control, that's nice. Yeah, I think it's our best option to try to advance from here. I mean, we can probably start getting through from south as well. Also, we got the divisions down here. I'm gonna move you a bit closer. So, hold on. How much do they have? It's still 88.7. Okay. Yeah, because we got Innsbruck. I forgot. Okay, so Vienna is uh, 6 points. Genoa is 7. Bologna is 5. Lana is 7. So if we take these, we might actually win already. Although, probably not. Depends on their unity, actually. Let's have a look. They have unity of uh, 94.5. So they've actually increased their unity a little bit in this war. Since I last checked. You can probably advance over there. There's a lot of troops in this province. Automotive construction industry advance. Oh, so it makes our tank division cheaper, I think. Also, let's have a look at the technology. Yeah, it's still quite far from completely filled. Ooh. I should have more sunk ships too build more <laughs> submarines, but whatever. Okay, I can probably move you down there. You can probably redeploy there as you go a bit faster. And you know what? Oh, pre-war armor. That's nice. I'm gonna take you guys and redeploy you over there. And you guys can redeploy this way. And this fight is. Uh... Are we out of supplies down there? No, it's uh... some headquarters that are out of supplies. Fair enough. I can probably move you down there and. I'm gonna push these guys further and further. More technology.
knowledge. Alright, uh, I think we need to move at least a few of these guys over here. Start advancing down here as well. Ferrara, we have one. We're getting more troops down there. We can probably push down these. Yep. Should be pretty easy. Uh, well, maybe not, but we'll see. Also, how much down are we? Okay, we're not as down in terms of manpower as we used to be. We are using uh, 1.8 manpower a day. That is quite a lot. So yeah, with this speed it shouldn't take more than um, a month and we should be full strength. Of course we are losing some men all the time, so it's not gonna happen. Also they are trying to attack us, but they are out of supplies. I'm gonna try to flank from this side. Also, we got that dealt with, so we're gonna attack here. Do we have some extra? No, not really. We can support attack from here, and you can start going down south. We should be reaching. Uh, well, Florence pretty soon, I think. Also, how long until we get. Okay, we start getting some of our artillery in February. And hopefully by then we have some of our some extra manpower to start producing more troops. They are trying to attack us, but yeah, it's not gonna be easy because they don't have proper fighting units, I don't think. Yeah, they have military police or something like that, and uh Motorcycle units and such, but mobile unit command and control. Okay. Move you down there. You can go there. Continue your flanking mission. But yeah, this war is almost over in terms of theater Europe. Of course there's Japan and such that take quite a bit of time. Also that means that Japan might be making some counter-attacks now that we made them stronger. I don't mind. I mean it's a good reason for us to keep our war economy going on. Yeah, we are doing... No, we are advancing in many places now, and we got rid of the mountainous areas for the most part already. I'm gonna advance here to cut these guys off, and get all these divisions uh, destroyed, basically. Uh, can you... well, I'm gonna send you to follow the ski division. This fight should be going pretty strongly in our favor now. Forward air control advance. Ah, oh, we have more divisions down here. I'm gonna send you around there for the most part. I'm gonna move you down there. Also, we. Hmm. We have some strength in these divisions, we might be able to beat that infantry division now. I'm gonna try it again. Hold on, they are... no. They are not out of supplies or anything. Of course they do still have some... some factories. Not many. Okay, so this fight... Uh, hold on, we have more units here, don't we? We do. I'm gonna start attacking with you. I hope that, yeah, it's arrived in the battlefield, so I'm gonna attack with you guys as well now. 
There should be enough firepower now. Hold on, if we move over here, we can take out that one. Which makes uh, Milan out of supplies. And uh, especially, at least in circle, we can then pretty easily take out them once they run out of organization. I mean, they will do that. Let's pull attack over there, actually. And you are stronger, so I'm gonna send you first. Okay, well, that was uh, unnecessary, I guess, but. Okay, so this fight should be gone pretty soon. Now then, uh, we are advancing down south. So wait, is it uh, Florence? No, it is Bologna, and we are next to it, so we can take it pretty easily. I'm gonna move you over the river. Because it's gonna be a lot easier attacking from there. These guys should be... well, they are out of supplies, first of all, and they should be losing their organization pretty fast. And this fight should be going in our favor as well. Also, Milan is almost uh, encircled. Just a little bit longer. I'm gonna move you down there. Okay, we got that province. Ah, we won this fight and a major victory. Ah, yeah, over there. Oh, they actually have extra unit there, but it seems to be just one militia. And we should be reaching there before they do, so... Piece of cake, I guess. Also, this uh, focus here should be over pretty quickly. But it seems that we have actually reached the end of this episode as well. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.